Hey guys, Slime Ryan here, and I'm back again. And today I'm just going to show you a quick video on uh, how to deactivate your account on PlayStation Network on all PlayStations. So if you're game sharing with anyone, uh, this will quickly deactivate all the PlayStation all the PlayStations that have your account on it. And the first thing you want to do is go to this website. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. So just go ahead and do that. Sign in. So I'm going to pick my email here. I'm going to sign in here. And basically what this does is I'm going to show you how to deactivate all the PlayStations in case you have no idea where your account is on a certain PlayStation. So you could have had your account on someone's PlayStation two years ago and you completely forgot about that person and they never actually deleted your account correctly. They never deactivated it. They only deleted the user. So in order to de deactivate your account using your PC only, um, you need to do the following steps. So the first of all, once you've signed in, uh, you go to devices. It should automatically go there. And if you've got a PlayStation system down the bottom, it should tell you how many systems uh, is running your account. Okay. In my case, it's two. It was five until I originally used the method that I'm going to show you to delete those particular PlayStations uh, with my account on. So the next thing you want to do is you want to click the third tab, which is account. Okay, and what that'll do is it'll bring you to this kind of billing information section and all that kind of stuff. Basically, all the stuff that you get on your PlayStation, except it's on your PC. So the next thing you want to do is you want to click Media Devices, which is like the second last one. And what it'll do is it'll bring up these four categories. Okay, and uh, I don't think it, video is allowed activated in the EU, or certainly not in Ireland anyway. Uh, so the main one you want to pick is Game. So when you click Game, there should be a drop-down arrow. And as you can see, you have deactivated your devices recently and cannot use this feature at this time. Okay, so basically what will happen is, in your case, if you haven't done your deactivation yet, you'll get like a drop-down arrow. And what it'll do is it'll tell you, uh, do you want to deactivate certain accounts? And what it, you click yes. And just as a warning, you can only do this every six months. So make sure when you deactivate an account on multiple playstations you you're sure you want to do this because you can't do it after six months so you yeah, guys that's a quick video on how to do it a lot of people have you know i've recently had to try and game share with people and it doesn't seem to work out as as much as you want and uh, just in case you guys don't have a full view on how to deactivate an account properly i'm going to leave a link in the description to a video how to deactivate your playstation account from your playstation in case you didn't know that but there's plenty of videos out there to do it on your playstation this video is just quickly get through um how to deactivate using your pc if you didn't have a playstation or you were afraid that someone may have your account and you want to put it on the new playstation see you guys thanks for watching i uh, hope that helped you out and i'll see you next time peace